Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for those who don't know, my name's Naomi and today's video idea is based off a thread that I found on Twitter. Um, I'll include it in the description so if you guys are interested you can have a look at the original points and stuff. So I thought I'd I add like a twist, I'd do a twist to the video and have their thread but with my points or like some of their posts they've made or some of the points they've made with my points, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I've like intertwined both ideas and yeah, this is what the video is going to be on and I think like it's a good time to do a video like this um, because I don't know about you guys in your unis and stuff but my uni is doing 50-50 so half online and half in person so I feel like these, this like these points will be beneficial to not only me but for you guys as well like newbies that are starting first year third years second years whatever so yeah without blabbing on for too long let's just get straight in to the video but yeah my first point was having a routine because i feel like if you have a routine like waking up at a similar time to your normal school uni whatever it will find it easier to work just to like you know being productive during this pandemic so yeah it'll just make it easier for you to focus and work well additionally waking up early will allow yourself to have plenty of time to work on whatever you need to do and then you can have more time to yourself later so i guess that's you know benefits both sides you can do your work get that done having a little like you know treating yourself getting a bit of dominoes in watching a bit of curry whatever you whatever takes your fancy you can do that so yeah having a routine is essential my next point is note taking because i feel like it's um, especially in uni college whatever it is, what exams it's very essential that you have notes because do it the same way you would do like normally without the pandemic and you know just even i like to type my notes up on computer you want to write your notes whatever stick it on your wall highlight it do whatever you want to do because i i advise you do something because it'll be easier when it it will be easier because uh, what's wrong with me i can't speak today because it'll be easier for you to look back on it later on when it comes to exam season and also it'll be useful when you simply just don't understand something and you might have written it down what the teacher said during class and you're like oh yeah that's what it means and, you know or you know like do you know what i mean just because nobody sees your notes doesn't mean that it won't become useful so your notes guys always ask if you don't understand like send emails message your friends because your friends you can always rely on your friends your friends someone will always know something so someone will be able to help you if not you can all come together and like google search or find the answers as a team like someone could be looking at the books in the library someone could be doing a google search someone could be looking for the notes that you've done in class and you'll find the answer together so friends can help you um book an appointment with your tutor if you still are struggling ask during class don't be afraid to do that especially during this pandemic like i, I don't know i don't know about anyone else but i feel more confident asking questions via zoom call rather than in actual class so i'll be asking all the questions that i want to ask or even if you feel like you can't do that you can just email them or speak to them wait till the end of the zoom call i'll speak to them at the end and it's just you guys who feel more comfortable doing that but don't be shy we're all in this situation covid 19 together why is it even called covid 19 when we're in 2020 i've just realized that actually why is it called that anyways yeah we're all in this situation together so don't you know refrain yourself from getting the knowledge that you need to be productive. Oh yeah, also, most of the time, people that are too afraid to ask questions, yeah? No, most of the time, there's people in class that are too afraid to ask questions. I'm thinking the same as you. So if one of you says it, then you guys are all covered in it. So one of you, just be brave enough to speak up and ask the question, because I'm sure there will be someone in the class that's also thinking the same as you are. As I said before, the climate worrying can be confusing and everyone's in the same boat. So it's, it's understandable if you don't understand something or it's not coming across right and you just want to ask the teacher something to just confirm. It's okay, okay? So don't be afraid to ask. Uh, point number four is focus. Put your phone on silent. 
don't become a distraction to yourself treat like online zoom calls meetings classes whatever like you would do if you were actually in there physically in the class i you wouldn't have you wouldn't be on your phone you wouldn't be listening to music in the background you wouldn't be doing any of that shit so just treat it as you would do normally like don't i would advise you not doing don't do me get out of bed don't do it in bed go and do it somewhere in a setting where it's like your workstation it's all set up in a nice clear area and you won't get distracted by others in the kitchen or in any other rooms so if it's just somewhere that's all closed off to you and all like in your study mode you might be able to gain more from that session that you're in rather than if you just sat in bed in your pjs do you know what i mean even though there's no consequences to you not paying attention there will be later down the line so like you know when the exams come and stuff because you weren't listening in the class you might have missed out something that was very essential to um a topic you were learning and now you have to go and troll through millions and millions of powerpoints just to find that one piece of information you were looking for that you could have easily gotten if you were just paying attention so make sure that you are focused and you're getting the work done as soon as possible anything that gets given you do it asap don't leave it till later because you probably forget what's even been said so make sure you do it pronto and as i mentioned before if you don't understand something ask when possible point number five is um, like taking breaks because they are essential so yeah having time to yourself during the day is important the idea of online classes is so you are able to create your own schedule and like have a plan for what you're going to do throughout the day make sure you're eating drinking when you're supposed to you know and yeah if you want to take a break for an hour and watch a bit of netflix do that and do what you have to do to get the work done don't stress like as i mentioned before everyone's in the same boat as you it's very likely that you'll be worried or have worries about similar issues and many people will be able to relate so you know no one's been in this pandemic before i'm facing it as a group so don't be afraid to ask for help if you need to don't be stressing because there's probably like um what is it like you should probably be able to there's probably a way around what you're stressing about like if you're worried about the workload ask for extra time if you're just stressed about, I don't know, just life, you know, I don't know, talk to an online counsellor or your friends because everyone is there for you guys, okay? Especially if you're like you in your college or whatever, the teachers are there to support you. So if you are feeling like uncomfortable or whatever, just ask. Moving on to the next point is about attendance, it still matters, make the most of your time. Uh, I know it drags a lot to be sat our computer if I wasn't in and Zoom calls and stuff but it'll end up being valuable in the long run what they're saying isn't trash it's all essential and it will lead up to being successful in completing your course and my final tip is self-care and if like learning is impact this kind of links with the sh don't stress point but yeah, if um, online learning is impacting your mental health, talk to someone, as I said, a counsellor, teacher, your friend. There are lots of things available out there to you that you might not even know. Like, for example, hmm, um, me and my mum are signing up to like, reapply for our shit finance and there's options that we didn't know about. I'm not going to mention them, but people may have certain like disabilities or like mental health problems and stuff and if you are able to acknowledge that from the early or are able to s state that within like application or stuff that you have this then you get like i don't know if i can report this lecture you get extra time or you get people to help you with the work and there's all sorts of other things like um bursaries and stuff like that which can help you in um, the completion of your work so again that's why it's important that you ask if you need help or if you feel like the workload is too much or you find it is difficult or whatever there's a solution to the problem so don't be stressing don't be worried and just think of yourself because if you are not feeling happy you're not going to be motivated to do the work so 
you need to take care of yourself and make sure you are okay. So yeah guys, I hope you found this useful and uh, can take something from this video. Uh, I don't know when it's going to get uploaded because the internet is so trash here. Literally, I've got a Euphoria makeup look that I did like two weeks ago and it's refusing to upload. So I don't know when this is going to get uploaded. But I'm also doing um, a pet peeves video that's coming soon and I'm planning to do a moving back to university second year vlog. If I can, don't hold me to it if it doesn't come out. We'll see when the time comes. I've only got a week left here and I'm moving back to Manchester, so yay! I can't wait to be honest. I've got loads of good like video ideas and um, like content stuff that I want to create, but I can't do it here because it's either like the lighting or like I'll be awake crazy hours in the morning and everyone's asleep and I don't like to wake everyone up so I can't really film when I want to film whereas when I'm back in my apartment and stuff I can do when I want when I want at whatever time so hopefully the wifi is good there as well Manchester wifi is actually quite good so I can't wait to be back and just do what I'm doing I kind of miss you I can't wait to start I can't wait to see my friends and meet up with people and maybe even eat out for these like discounts and stuff going on i can't get none of that stuff here like like i can't like you know like with uber and stuff i can't get that here i can only get dominoes it costs four pounds if you want like kfc and that it's mad always mad i don't know what's going on it's because i'm not in the catchment home i think that's absolute bollocks they need to sort something out and like I don't really have anyone to do like restaurants and stuff with. At the same time, I want to go to restaurants. I don't want to go to restaurants. Can I always wait? I don't want to catch COVID, so I don't want to go to restaurants. But then, in order to get like the discounts, you have to eat in. You can't like order on Uber Eats or anything. So yeah, I just wait to get to Manchester and see what happens. Hopefully, because the eating in, eating out schedule, whatever it's called ends on the 31st so hopefully they'll extend it so when I get to Manchester I can actually be able to do the things that I want to do with friends so maybe I don't know there's this um Twitter oh I don't know if I still have it I'll insert a screenshot here of the the picture and that is me because I want to do it but I don't want to do it at the same time so yes we shall see but yeah Hope you guys well and have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.